Welcome back to Razor Stream Engines. Uh, we're back with the Turbo 400. And I believe this may be part three, but I'm trying to show you in parts. Uh, that way you can understand how in detail it is. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up and share this video. Uh, this is on how to rebuild your Turbo 400. As you can see, there's actually three transmissions. I had the other one at the parts washer, uh, the third one at the parts washer. Uh, <laughs> The reason there's three is the one in the middle was severely damaged. Uh, whatever they did, it's got a lot of damaged parts. Uh, so I would have to order special parts for it. Uh, so then I opened the third one. So here we are on the third one. Do you remember my first video on how to disassemble it and you keep it in order? It will seriously help you a lot better to put it all back together. Right now it's all not in order. But then again, I've done this several times, so I know how to put it back all together. Uh, in fact, if you walk this way, let me show you the damage on this one here. Why I can't use this one. Is, as you can see, all the metal pieces in this one. Well, this part here is stuck. As you can see, more metal pieces in this one. So I'm gonna have to order this entire assembly. As you can see in here, there's metal pieces. This whole assembly is stuck together. So this, I mean, I'm not sure what they did with this one, probably drag racing it, but that's fine. Uh, that's what they're for. Uh, but they should have made this one a little stronger. There's aftermarket parts for that. Uh, so we're gonna go back to this one. And on this one, if you just come right here, you're gonna see the difference, what I'm talking about. I use TCI parts. All these clutches are TCI. This is a 34 element sprag, a 34 sprag. This is what you want, which here it is, is your 34 sprag. And we're gonna compare this. I'm gonna compare it and show you what I'm talking about. So that goes there. It's basically this one. So you have a snap ring, you take the snap ring off. You take this part off and your sprag is in here. And see, as you can see, it only rotates one way, it won't rotate the other way. Take this off. Okay, this is the weak link on a Trouble 400. This is what's going to break instantly. Uh, you see the huge difference? Big difference. This is a lot stronger, this is not gonna break, this is not gonna snap. You can shift gears, you can hold it in first gear, however you wanna, you can drag race it, this is not going to snap. This is gonna to come apart and you're gonna have all these pieces inside your transmission. So if you wanna upgrade, that's what you're gonna do. And see, as you can see, that goes back in there just like that. Remember that lip right there goes on top. This is the flat side, it goes down. And to put it on, you just twist. That's the stock part. We're not gonna use the stock one. I just wanted to show you by opening this one. So we're gonna to go to this one. This one here, your clutch is gonna go in here. Here's your clutch set. So we're gonna do that together right now. But we're gonna put your 34, you see how you just flip it over. Here's that part. Just like that. And then you just twist this. It's like it doesn't want to go whenever you're doing something. <laughs> so let me do it this way. Let me put it in here. like that you see it and then twist see it only goes one way it won't go the other way and then you put your this part here as you can see it goes one way you can't put it on because there's a notch right there for both of them you put it on that notch you twist it 
and it locks it in place. Hopefully you can see that part right here, what I'm talking about. See, there's a notch, you twist it, and it locks it in place. And then you can put your snap ring on. There it is. Watch, see, it only turns one way. See, it won't turn the other way. And that's what you want. All right, let's put the clutches. Now, this is your preference, it's up to you. You can put them on dry, you can put them on wet. In other words, you can get your oil pan, you can soak them up in transmission fluid, or you can just do it this manner. Either way it'll work, because your transmission's not gonna run when it's dry anyway. So, you put your steel, put your other one, another steel. As I said, these are TCI, another one like that, steel. So you get all of them in there. And then your main one. There it is. This one for this side over here. So here you go. You have this one ready? That's it for that one. Remember this washer goes right in there. So here we are on this one. This is the same thing. You can either put this on first, which remember your washer goes here. You can put this in this way or you can put it on afterwards. So remember, your steel goes first. This is your wavy plate. This is a wavy one. This is the one that's gonna come, it doesn't come in your kit. It already stays in your transmission. It'll be the last one that comes out of your transmission. Then the kit, and then another steel. Here's your last one. As you can see, everything's already clean. Forgot, you gotta put this one on first. And see, you're gonna twist it until it goes in. Until all, it goes all the way in. See? Just like that, and there's your washer. That's it. Just like that, there's your snap ring. There you go. And that's it for that. That's how you assemble your, your clutch pack. And you should, if you have it in order, all this is gonna go in order. This will go facing that way. And that's it. And here's your other clutches that go inside. So remember, this goes in first, all that goes in, then this one, this one, and that one. So I just want to show you how you put that together. It's fairly simple, but just remember, as you take it out, you can put your clutches to the side and put them all together. This is what came off of this one, if you haven't seen it. See how damaged they are? Uh, 
uh, some of them are actually dark. Uh, I'm going to show you some that are really bad. This right here is basically this. That's how bad it is. See how thin it got? It ate all up the clutch. So imagine where all the metal went. So that's why you gotta clean your transmission very good. Uh, make sure it's completely clean. So there you go. Now you see how you assemble it together. So keep watching. I'm gonna put everything together and we're gonna continue to put it all completely until it's finally assembled all together. That way you can put everything together and it's not a long, entire long video. It's a shorter video. So again, give me a thumbs up, share this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks again.